about maintaining a heart journal and talking about family roles. We talked yesterday about having access to the types of behaviors and the actions that characterize family members and making a list of that. Today I'd like to do something else. I'd like to essentially talk about people in their contexts and their surroundings. So let's make a list of maybe not your immediate family members, but um, family members that were a little bit further removed from the, the actual day-to-day -day of your life. Maybe members that you saw during a certain period of your life, or maybe family members that you saw just kind of irregularly or during different types of times of the year. And I'd like you to write down the person's name and then the context in which you related to that person. So maybe that person had to do with, um, say, a cousin who used to visit in the summers and you would go swimming together. Or maybe it was a, um, a, your, your sister with whom you went to, say, spring break and different vacations with. Maybe um, um, a different kind of relationship, an aunt or an uncle who employed you for the summer. Now, we realize that not, not everybody, when I say family, I don't really mean birth family. So let's say people who are significant in your life, because a lot of us do grow up in a situation where we really don't have that many family members in our lives. So you have a choice, either your immediate family or your extended family, or the other choice is people who are significant to you who became your kind of de facto family.